So what are we looking at at our 3D image here? So this is a picture of the woman's pelvis. Mm -hmm. It's a cross section, which includes uh, the bladder, the uterus and the vagina, and the rectum and the anal canal. Now explain to us uh, what the function is and how many muscles are there make up the pelvic floor. So there are many muscles that make up the pelvic floor. It's not just one single muscle. Right. Uh, basically, there are two layers that are significant for pelvic floor therapy and okay. for the dysfunction you might uh, feel. Um, here, we don't really see the picture of the muscles so well, but there's a more superficial layer, mm -hmm. and then there's a deeper uh, layer as well. Okay. Now. What are the functions of these uh, pelvic floor muscles? So there are four basic functions four. of the pelvic floor, and I like to think of them as the S's. So okay. there's the sphincter, mm -hmm. there, which is the closure around the urethra and the vagina and the anus. There's the support, which is the, the muscles contract and they lift the bladder and the vagina and the anus up in, into the pelvic cavity. Uh, there's sexual function. And then the last one is stabilization. And this one we don't think about a lot because our patients come to us from urologists and urogynecologists, mm -hmm. but the pelvic floor is a critical part of what we call the core muscles. So when you go to the fitness class and they talk about your core, really the pelvic floor is an important part of that. Now, so that's how a healthy female pelvis should look, but mm -hmm. there are a lot of common pelvis disorders. And so what are we looking at um, when it comes to these disorders? So the pelvic floor disorders um, that I see often are pelvic organ prolapse, urinary incontinence, anal incontinence. Um, these are the ones that c most of my patients come from a okay. urologist or a urogynecologist.